I don't know if you would describe it as like electronic music or yeah. whatever that you incorporate into your powwow singing. In my travels, even just sitting by a person on the plane, I say, you know, well, what are you going here for? I'm like, well, I'm a musician, I'm traveling, I'm an artist. What do you do? And then it's steps by steps. And it's like, I don't know how to explain what we created. It's only for that to you experience. Later, hey, later. He's creating his own genre of music almost. He too is presenting our culture in a more modern medium, maybe bringing other people into our world a little bit and appreciating uh, our people and our culture and giving us some visibility, you know. On top of that, he's been making a name for himself pretty uh, quickly. The way that I would explain to someone who may have not have heard something like this before is it's this is very just on its own. Power music is, is, is probably the closest that you will get to it, but um, if you ask a power singer, they will say that this is not power music. This is, you know, something experimental or you know, something different. But I feel like this is my version of a one-man powwow or hand drum CD. For many years, indigenous music voices haven't been out here as much. You know, I don't mean any harm towards your ears. It's meant to cut through live, and it's meant to be loud. It's meant to be in your face. It's meant to, you know, hit you over the knuckles with the ruler. The drum group I was a part of, and we were invited to a music festival curated by Justin Vernon and uh, the Bon Iver family. And it was with our friend Andrew Broder. During his set, one of the dancers, he just went out there and just started dancing like how we would at a powwow. And in my mind, if you ripped what Broder was doing and he put some powwow singing underneath Ruben, it would have been a, a flawless transition. Now, I didn't think of like, oh, I gotta go make an album. <laughs> like that, yeah, yeah, it, just, yeah. it just was like post-it note, kind of like stuck in the back of my head type of thing. I seen you in the green room down at 7th Street Entry and you had all these different tapes and I was like reading some of the labels or like powwows from the early 2000s and mm -hmm. the 90s. I'm like, this dude's crazy with it. Yeah. Yeah, getting into I, the history of it. Yeah, I really just didn't think about what I've recorded until maybe I was trying to compile things for samples for the album. Like I knew like, yeah, I'm recording all the time, like, but that's just regular for me. It's like breathing. Most of the samples that you hear are from Powell's and from my recordings themselves, spanning back to uh, 1992. It's also just uh, real life instances that I have with my friends that I record. The samples that you hear are, are very close to me and they're very important, uh, each voice that you hear. And uh, I wanted to pay homage to some of my late uh, drum brothers with uh, putting their voices or the songs uh, that were made for them on the album just because I, you know, this was a release of grieving emotions that I had kind of built up that I just didn't have the, the place or space to uh, kind of set that stuff free. <laughs> Archiving and, and keeping a record of powwow singing is important to me because I feel like there hasn't been that type of uh, platform for anyone to really take care of or curate this body of work that's been here and been recorded for, for 50 years plus. Now that I'm stepping into uh, an industry that uh, isn't represented well by indigenous artists or let alone powwow singers, I just feel like there's a need to uh, be the steward of powwow music and just really take care of uh, the garden that is powwow music. Powwow recording and powwow singing has always been a, a part of my life and uh, I'm really super proud of, of being able to be taught, especially, you know, in the projects and in the, the place where, you know, some lots of things are, are you know, what it is there. But you know, some 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 good things came from from the PJs, man. And you know, I'm proud of the people who I met when I was younger who took the time, try to wrangle up some some rambunctious city kids and try to you know teach them some discipline around the drum. You know. <laughs>